morning guys it is so pretty this morning it's stunning i woke up in a great mood which is rare for it being like 6 a.m but i really needed to because yesterday was kind of a train wreck i said to one of my friends that i was on like two percent all day i just could not function i was leaving things everywhere i always have a better day when i work out first thing so i'm going to core power and i'm waiting for annie i went to bed at 1 33. cheers I hate college <laughs> like taking everything out of me right now after this we're gonna feel amazing we're gonna get bagels or something we did it i'm proud of us Bagel time. Got the goods. Welcome to a week of my life in college. This is take two because the first time I filmed it, I said, Welcome to a week of my life in high school. I'm bringing a bagel sandwich to my Valentine. Happy Valentine's. Hi, vlog. Hi, vlog. It's been a while since I've updated you. The last time I updated you was this morning before I had class. It's now 4.42 and me and Natalie just finished running some errands. Time for my haul first. Time for a haul. Go. <laughs> okay. Wait, do you want to explain the beginning of your day first? Because I like, didn't really talk about oh, that. I woke up this morning. I'm feeling a tad sick because mm. my roommate's a tad sick and it's just going around. So I woke up at like 9 and then I went to the gym at like 10.30. Did you have class? No. I went to the gym and then back to my dorm. I like deep cleaned my closet. Now I'm here. And now we're here. We no. had to run some errands because I had to pick up my ski goggles that I finally got. Picked these up at REI and then we just went to Target since we had the car. Zipcar is the best thing ever. If you're on a college campus, you should really check and see if you have it because you can get the car Plus for like $11 an yeah. hour and it's so much cheaper than Ubering around if you need to get somewhere. I splurged a little bit on these goggles because I'm sure I'll have them probably forever. Here they are and they have the magnetic lens hey it looks like i'm wearing a vr not headset what do you call it she looks like a freaking penguin it's so cool because the lens literally just sticks right on there so i'm really excited about these we're going skiing this weekend emily has a ranch near winter park and so we're gonna go up there this weekend and it's gonna be like a little roommate trip and we're all bringing a friend so i'm sure some of that will be included in this vlog i'm bringing natalie but had to get my own ski goggles finally and stop borrowing my ass. Okay, I got Honey NyQuil. I also got throat coat because I need to be better by Sunday because all it comes on Sunday and if I'm not better. Yes, her boyfriend's visiting on Sunday. My favorite flavor of Alani when I need a pick me up, it's the dream float. It's like orange cream school vibe. It's so good. Strawberry mango sparkling water because I like this better than soda. And then I got some cheese it's just for a snack. I definitely got some things I didn't need, but a lot of things I really did need. I got the same tea but the elderberry one. Olipop and coffee. Flossers. Toothbrush. Refills. And last but not least is this frame. I pressed flowers. I don't even know if this is going to work. But I pressed flowers that Matt got me in a book. I found a little tutorial on TikTok. I'll link it down below. But I really hope that it works. It's sitting underneath my you Bible need to right show now. Me that, I'm I will do that with those fresh scent flowers. Anyway, I want to frame them. I think it'd be a really cute decoration. So that's all for our haul. We're gonna go to the DG house because there's a little Valentine's dinner, and we're gonna get some chocolate covered strawberries, and then I actually have to get a lot done because I've not done a lot of work today. So I've been bopping around town on my random errands. <laughs> so I'll keep you guys updated. Here we are. It's Natalie's first time at DG. At DG. Okay. Rate it. What do you rate it? <laughs> Best appetizer. I'm back in my dorm. I just changed. I'm trying to be a little bit more festive for Valentine's Day because we're going to Cammy's house. By we, I mean me and a bunch of my Young Life friends. Her dad is making us dinner and I'm so excited to go and just be somewhere where it's gonna feel nice and homey. I'm a disaster. All my stuff is really messy. I meant to clean it earlier. I didn't do that. And I still have a lot of work too. So I'm just gonna bring my computer and work while we watch Bachelor tonight. That's another reason we're going to her house is to watch The Bachelor. We watched last night and we're watching tonight and it's been so much fun to watch and all commentate together. Also, earlier today, I got my nails done with Kira. I didn't ask for square, but he did do them square. It's my own fault because I wasn't paying attention. I was on my phone. I got Funny Bunny. I'm excited to vlog and share my week with you guys. I'm late as always. I'm wearing my super puff top from Hollister, brandy sweatpants, and my Uggs. I just went back in the room for my phone and it was literally in my hand. I feel so dumb. Hey guys, it's Cammie, Piper, and Sophie. Hey! And we're at my house right now. Look at that king. That's my dad. We just had a lovely dinner. We had burgers. Scrumptious. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's Katie, she's the YouTuber. We had Brussels sprouts, burgers, yeah. potatoes, oh, salad, 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 and non-alcoholic wine. It was so yummy. And we're going to watch The Bachelor and decorate cookies. <laughs> Guys, comment down below that out. who you think is going to win The Bachelor. I'm Team Maria. She's Team Maria. Maria. We're, all, we're, we're all Team Maria. Maria, Maria, Maria. I'm Team Edwina. Sophie's sister is a nurse and she had to remove a cucumber out of someone's <laughs> butt. How did we get here? <laughs> None of this footage is usable. I'll talk to y'all later. Later. 
I'm right back where I was a couple hours ago. I still have work to do. Guys, Allie's on a date. I don't know if she's gonna let me include that, but I've been keeping tabs. If you're new, Allie's my twin sister. Anyway, it's obviously later. It's 10 o'clock, and my goal is to be in bed by 11.15. I have a couple more things to do. I really need to get my room cleaned up because it looks like a train wreck. Literally, why? This is gonna get cleaned before tomorrow. This is where the flowers that I and pressing our living currently. I haven't checked on them. I don't know if I'm even supposed to expose them to air or look at them. <gasps> oh my gosh, it worked! I probably need to leave them in here for longer. I don't know how pretty this is gonna turn out because I want to rearrange them a little bit still, but I'm so excited. These still don't feel completely dried out. So I'm gonna leave it and try to make something beautiful with this in a couple weeks. These are my friend's Pilates socks. I need to return them to her because I wash them. This is from last night. This is a, a representation of my brain. Evidently, there's a lot going on. I need to do this work on my computer. I just have like one math assignment and one thing for my anthropology class and I should be able to knock it out really quick. Edit another TikTok. This is when I freeze up because I realize I have so much to do and I don't know what to even start with and it just seems to go one thing at a time. And I think if I clear this space, I will have a more clear mind in order to finish everything I need to do and then go from there. R.I.P. I never drink a full energy drink. It's always like half. Thank God I left this propped. Luckily they have a great system in place. If you lose a card or lock it in your room or whatever, they'll give you a temp card at the front desk and then you just have to return the temp card by the end of the day and it'll expire. So it's not that big of a deal. I'm sure it happens every single day. This is just inconvenient. Ready for the magic? All clean. Yeah, Happy yeah. Valentine's Day! Are you zooming in and out of the beam? Yeah. I'm just not realizing this whole time I've had ketchup on my face. This is a funny angle, but it's way later. I'm at the sink and I'm washing this out for my chai in the morning. It's almost midnight. Obviously, couldn't make it to bed early. I was on the phone with Matt for a while and then I finished the TikTok, but. I still have more to do in the morning, but this is clean. I wish I was getting a little more sleep. I really need to work on prioritizing my sleep more. But today was such a fun day, and I really didn't want to say no to hanging out with my friends and running those errands. And I am now not consequences, because like it's just regular day to day work. But I just have to work a little bit more and like pick and choose what I want to prioritize. I'm still really proud of myself though because I had a really productive day, I got up early for a workout, and I'm really trying to just drill it into my brain that I am not defined by the amount of work I can finish in a day. And I'm ending the day really happy, filled with a lot of love from Valentine's Day, and I'll see you guys in the morning. I'm gonna make a chai, first thing. I have to be in class in two minutes, and I'm about six minutes away. So I'm trying to walk fast, I just like don't have it in me right now. I know I'm being dramatic, I just need to like... <sighs> it's never really super cloudy here, so maybe that's why. But I'm trying to suck it up and go to class. Also, I haven't tried this yet, but I'm happy that I made it. I'm in the bike lane. <sighs> <sighs> I just need to wake up and then I'll be fine. First class is done. One out of four and the new Beyonce song is putting me in a good mood. Three classes later yeah. and it's many hours later. It's almost six. Do you guys ever have days where no matter what you do, like drink energy drinks, take medicine, whatever, you just can't wake up? Because that's with me all day today. That's with us today. Like at any point today, I could have easily just like fallen in my bed and passed out. One of those days. Yeah. And it makes it hard to do anything. It really does. Tuesdays and Thursdays are always the busiest. What's your busiest? Tuesday. Because being in business, I have this class on Tuesdays that goes from 3.15 to 6.30. It's insane. Can that's that? awful. Yeah, that's terrible. when you take your... That's when I take my genius pill. Your focus. Your, what do you call it? What's your nickname for it? My special pill? No. You, <laughs> you said something the other... I can't remember what it was. My magic? Um, Maybe it was that. I don't know. Anyway. Dinner looks so good, so we're gonna eat up. And then Adeline's going to her intramural basketball game. I got a, I got a game tonight. And I'm gonna go work away at the I need to carbo shop. load. Are you gonna take my car? Can I? Yeah. Do you want me to come get you and after? And then I could just, well, I could just have oh, like Lily or a shower or probably, right, after? Mm, yeah, maybe. If you don't wanna go later, then I just go by myself. <laughs> yeah, after. Yeah. I still have lots to update you on and chat about later, so. <laughs> Stay tuned. There were so many moments today where I really wanted to pull out the camera and vlog, but I literally was just non-stop and there was no time. So I will talk tonight, I promise. Tonight. I want to talk about the interview and all my thoughts I have from the interview. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was so interesting. Basically, 
Earlier today, this girl interviewed me for one of her projects about, oh, it's not even mine, about influencers in college. It got me thinking a lot, so I have my thoughts to share. The drumstick in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Oh my god. My green bee. Hey. <laughs> We're vlogging. This is normal. This is gonna be normal next year in this house. Oh yeah. Adeline lives in the house right now. I'll keep you guys updated. I cannot wait to live here. It's so cute. Maybe one day I'll do a full tour of the place. I just got to Trident. I think this coffee shop is the one that stays open the latest in Boulder. Oh, I see a girl walking with flowers. There have been so many sweet moments. Just like I was saying yesterday, looking at all the guys in Target picking out flowers. It's really sweet to see. Anyway, I need to go grind out all my work so this weekend can be all fun and no work. I mean, it's inevitably gonna, inevitably gonna be a little bit of work anyway, but I'm gonna try to get as much done as I possibly can. I think I say that phrase every single vlog. Okay, I've done so much work and I'm calling it quits. I'm just gonna do the rest tomorrow in the car. I look rough, but me and Emily are packing for the ranch. I'm so, I know it's fine. We've been talking about this for so long. We're gonna ski, we're gonna cook, we're gonna hang out. And we're gonna play cards and I love playing cards, so yay. Emily's excited too. So. <laughs> we need to get packing. I think I'm just really lucky because I have so many friends who can take me to cool places. <laughs> like I went to, when I went to Beaver Creek, that was Sydney's house we were staying at. <laughs> Emily's taking me to her ranch. Basically, I lucked out. One of the things on my to-do list is literally toothbrush reset. Like, <laughs> I bought these yesterday and I have a new little pod thing because last time I bought them, it came in a pack of two. So I wanna replace the toothbrush head and also replace the battery because this thing's been out of battery for so long. I don't know where my batteries are though. I bought these with my munch money. No joke. So, girl math, it was free. I think I've explained this before, but our munch money is basically like, how would you explain munch money? Um, <laughs> it just gets added on our account and we can use it at certain locations around campus and we get 200 a semester. This thing is so mangled. It really needs to be switched out. I don't know how to replace the battery on this. I'm on my like second YouTube tutorial. Where did the brush go? Gosh. Oh, I forgot the motor. No wonder it's not working. Yes! I did it, Emily! My toothbrush works again. Oh. <laughs> I could have made a TikTok out of this. Toothbrush reset. I just came down to the laundry room to throw my laundry in the washer and I put it in here. Like I didn't look in the washer before I threw it in there. And this is what's in the washer. Oh, gross. This was out of order last week and they must not have fixed it. I literally can't, with these washers, I came down here to switch my laundry, right? This is sopping wet. This is gonna take hours to dry. And there's no way to put it on a spin only setting. I think I'm gonna put them in here and rewash them because maybe there is something wrong with this washer. Oh my gosh. It's still soapy. Oh, sorry, I don't know why this is in portrait mode. So bad, you guys. Goodness. My laundry is still in the washer. Or the, I'm sorry, the dryer. It cycled through again and then I put it back into the I put it back in the washer and then into the dryer. It should be done in like 10 minutes. It's almost one in the morning. I started doing this at like 10. And it obviously turned into this whole process. Anyway, I mentioned earlier that I wanted to talk a little bit more about the interview I had later because I it really got me thinking about my goals, the kind of content I want to put out. And honestly what a blessing it is to have this as my job. It's so cool that I get to connect with you guys and make content and I just love doing it so much. With that being said, I kind of just wanted to open the floor to like any feedback you guys have, even if it's bad things, like something you don't want to see in videos anymore, things you like about videos, maybe other kind of things you want to see. I think it's Clara Pierce. I think someone's coming in. Um, she has a website and everything's super organized on it and she posts recipes and things like that. And I was talking to Adeline earlier and I was talking about how I love to write and obviously it's just like a web of all my ideas but if there's any, anything <laughs> anything specific you guys want to see more of less of whatever i'd love to know in the comments i just have so many ideas and she asked me like what are your goals in the interview and i was like i they have so many in my mind but i can't think of them right now anyway just thought as if i would have time for anything else podcast is a big thing i want to do one day but just not right now because i think i would be so slammed if i added more to my plate and i was saying to adam earlier if i added more in it would force me to subtract in other areas i wouldn't want to aka the quality of my videos or the quantity of my videos she asked me so many interesting questions and i kind of wish that i 
recorded it myself just because I think it's super insightful. It was really exciting to talk about it and just to kind of reflect on how passionate I am about doing this and how much I love creating content. So thank you guys. I think there was more I wanted to say about that, but it's just been, as you know, one of those days. So maybe it'll come back to me tomorrow. We'll see you in the morning. I'm so excited for tomorrow. After a long <laughs> road trip, we finally made it. Great one. Great one. You're snowmobiling? Oh, no, we're not driving. We're not driving now. Can you stop doing that? <laughs> Nora's twerking it really bad. This is unreal. Holy moly. Do you want to take that room? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Me and Natalie are finding our room. Is this it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is like a hotel room. Sorry, I didn't mind the cuss. <laughs> Okay, it's over a week later and it's about time that I end this video and update because I filmed about two clips at the ranch and that was it. We should throw in the wash, but the light in here is so pretty right now. We got ourselves a very eventful weekend at the ranch. There was a pipe that burst and so we lost water and then we lost Wi-Fi. Turns out we lost Wi-Fi because Nora unplugged, unplugged the, router. the router. Come here. She's like, Nora unplugged the router and essentially she's like, oh, oh, that was me. Sorry. She was like, she didn't think about how as soon as she unplugged it, the Wi-Fi went out, what? Must have been me. No, she didn't think about that part. So then we figured out that it's hers. That's not his name, but yes! I know I'm a vibe, guys, but it's actually K-I-E-R-A. We went skiing on Saturday. I didn't ski. I had a nightmare every day because I dropped my pole and there was just a lot going on. What did you say? Is it the pole went up her butt? The pole did not go up her butt. <laughs> <laughs> to top it all off, we all, not all of us, Natalie was really sick, Nora got really sick, and we ended up coming back on Saturday instead of Sunday. It was honestly for the best because I think we all had a lot to do and Sunday got busy and it was just nice to have the extra day to sleep in, but we will definitely remember that trip forever. And the Chinese food. I don't think I ever told oh. the story of the Chinese food, so basically I'm gonna play the video of me ordering I because- I for three days when I was there, I just realized there how many days were there? No, we couldn't go to the bathroom no, because not, you only got one flush. We could go to the bathroom, but you only got one flush per toilet, yeah, so you had to be strategic clogged, about it. And I was clogged too, if you know what I mean. <laughs> pipe burst. Bro, we were Another not, pipe burst? What? Before they fixed it, when you guys left. Oh my gosh. We were planning to cook, but since the water got shut off because of the pipe that burst, we couldn't cook, so we couldn't do dishes, water, boil, whatever. Anyway, we ended up ordering Chinese food, and we ordered a bunch of food and didn't realize how expensive it was going to be. <laughs> and I don't think I, I think I only have the video of me ordering, but you <laughs> should have seen the shock on all of our faces in the car when they were like, the total is going to be 300 and something dollars. We were beside ourselves, but it ended up being a lot less because we took things off and the restaurant was very forgiving. What? The thing is, was we also it. ate all of it. We yeah. ate all of it, so it was worth it. Like, nothing went to waste, but I'll insert a photo of the food because it was just astronomical. What were you going to say, Kira? It was blessed. It was so good. I have a lot of exciting videos coming up, lots of travel things going on this week and next week, so stay tuned for more. My next video is gonna be my morning and night routine. I filmed it last week. I'm a little bit behind on editing, so I'm just That's trying to get nice. all caught up. So my bed looks really clean, wow. We all cleaned today. Yeah, Katie was like in her like mode, and I just, and then Emily started getting in her mode, and I was like, so darn, weird. I need to get in my mode. Oh yeah, we <laughs> came in here and it smelled disgusting. So guys, I also tried Bloom for the first time. Uh, it's, it's chunky. And then I also got these. Look at these. Let me brr. You can assume me... for yourself no, what guys, she's doing. They have so many different ones. There's like, yeah, they let do. me calm, let me sad, la ba -da. I've heard like really good things about all of them. Not no. even just purr. But I was like, purr, I need that. Purr, I need that. <laughs> oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Guys. What is that? <laughs> My cookie dough. Is this? What did you do? Whole I was trying to heat it for like 10 seconds. No, you, you can eat oh, the dough. Oh, buddy. But... We have to go get paper towels anyway. I left it in for a little too long. I didn't realize because she was talking about her lemmy pearl. Vaginal probiotic. 20 oh. seconds in the microwave and it's so good. It's the Sweet Lawrence brand and the ingredients are all clean. So I feel better about eating it in the middle of the day. Thanks for watching this video. Love you so much. Deuces. And we'll see you soon. Deuces. Bye, you bye. Want to see yourself? I'm okay, bye. <laughs>